Welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show, brought to you by the great folks at COMC, Central Ozarks Medical Center, where your health is their mission. And we are joined by Dr. Sean Kirksey. He is the superintendent of the Camdenton School District. And like so many people over there at Camdenton, you went to school there. You grew up there, graduated there, and decided you wanted to come back. When did you graduate high school? I graduated in 1989. 89. Last class in the in the great decade, you know, the Grady's. Yeah. Last class of the 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I graduated early in the 80s. Uh, so uh, from 89, and it, I'm stunned at the uh, number of people who come back to Camden yes, that went to, yeah. to school there, including you. So you've got this long history. You come back. You're recognized as the assistant principal of the year, I think, in the state of Missouri, right? Yes, yeah, that was about, uh, it was early 2000s. So I was okay. at the middle school as an assistant principal, and, and uh, you know, honestly, I had a really good staff, really good teachers, and, and uh, when things go well, you know, or when they don't go well, the, 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 the administrator is going to get recognition for that either way, and I had yep. really good staff that got me uh, and it put me in a position where, um, you know, I think it was, I, mean, I cared about kids and I tried really hard, you know, yeah. at that time, you know, and, but uh, it was quite an honor. It was, uh, it's, uh, it was an honor to be, to work there, to be a Laker, but then on that on top of it was pretty great. Yeah. It's kind of so, like coaching. If you got, you know, good players and a good yeah. staff, yeah. you're usually going to be pretty good, you yeah. know, so yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. kind of helps. So you come back to Camdenton, you win this huge award yeah. as, you know, the assistant principal of the year. And then something goes caterwonky and, and they don't want you to stay. That's yeah. kind of weird, isn't it? What, what happened with all uh, that? There was, there were, I, I would uh, equate it to some philosophical differences uh, pretty much with how, um, and it had to do with staff and, and, and just where uh, we were going and uh, as a district. And I, and, and I quite frankly had challenged some of that you know, and just, uh, and, and then there were other, uh, issues related to that. They were pretty much, it, it revolved around that, but, um, and, uh, you know, in that situation, you can do one of two things. You can continue to be in the middle of that storm and, and, and kind of make it worse or make it better. And I felt like at the time, even though I wanted really to, to serve Camdenton more than anything, that was my, you know, was my life ambition as, yeah. as an educator. Um, it, it just became very difficult. So then, um, uh, Ron Hendricks had been the superintendent at, at Camdenton, and he had a, a, a position in another school district that it just made it easier for me to go there. So I ended up going there and working for him. I always He was a mentor of mine, an unbelievable educational leader. And so uh, it, was a, it was a thrill to go to work for him, and that made it a little, it softened the blow of, of having to leave uh, Camdenton. But uh, um, it, 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 was a very, it was a very tough decision and a tough time because I love the school district, and I think that was... Um, you know, that was the, probably the hardest part. Very difficult time. It had to be almost heartbreaking, you know, to to kind of be asked to leave. And, and after you've done a great job. Yeah. Well, you, you um, we've all left jobs that we were like, thank goodness. I mean, you know, yeah. and we've all had those jobs that weren't a whole lot of fun. Um, and at the end of that job, it was it, it was very stressful for me and my family. So sure. it was a it ended up being the best move for for everyone involved, I think. Uh, but never dreaming, you know, you get the opportunity to come back. Right. So so it uh, it's just funny how things work, and there's a there's a plan beyond kind of what we understand most of the time. And so uh, back here, and it just makes this uh, this trip back at Camdenton and this time even sweeter. It, so. Do you feel vindicated being able to come back and? Kind of be here again, not just be here, but like you're the head honcho dude, you know. Uh, I, I think there's a piece of that. Um, uh, I, I went back and forth about if it had been just that, I, I would never have come back. You know, I felt like I uh, got a phone call from from a couple of people that I again are really influential in, in my life and uh, retired administrators, former administrators, and said, you know, you have to come back. Um, and quite frankly, I mean, just being honest, we had kind of a unity issue yeah. um, uh, over the last couple of years. And so they kind of felt like you might be a person who could unite that and get us uh, maybe back to remember what it means to be a Laker and get back on uh, track with that. Because there was, a, there was a, um, some strife there and some tough some tough situations that they were dealing with, you know, yeah. and, and so uh, it wasn't an easy decision to take the job because where I was at, the superintendent's job there would have been probably much easier. Yeah. Um, yeah. But this was home and it, and it meant a ton to me and it has been a blessing from day one.
Did so. you, were in the middle of all that, did you ever think, just throw up your hands, I'm getting out of this, it's not worth the, the trouble, or did you always know you were supposed to stay in, and be an educator? I, I think I'd struggled a little bit um, at, at California and, and having my kids in the building, and I was at California High School as the principal there. Having my kids in the building made a big difference for me there um, because it just, uh, that gave me a little renewed purpose. I wanted to have the, the best possible school there, and it, there were great people there. Um, and, and really a phenomenal school board. I mean, the school board members I had were just unbelievable. And that kind of renewed my faith a little bit in just the whole educational structure yeah. and how it worked because they were so about kids. And I feel the same way about our board now. Um, our, our board members, I watched about 20 hours of board meetings before I ever interviewed. And one of the things that I, and I told them this during the interview, uh, they rarely disagreed when it came to kids and staff. Yeah. I mean, they were on the same page with we're about kids, we're about staff. There may have been some other things that they weren't on the same page, but with that, they were they were true and they cared and it was obvious how they voted, how they spoke, how they carried themselves, the decisions they made was really about kids. And so that was kind of the decision for me, okay, I, if, if we can just focus on kids and I'm all about kids and I'm all about teachers. So if they're, if they're, uh, they're on the same page with that, then we're going to be on the same page, and I'm going to have a chance to make a big difference. And and uh, they have just done some phenomenal work since uh, since I've since I've been there, been a, um, been able to witness what they have done from class sizes to uh, you know three thousand dollar raise to the base salary to three dollars an hour raise over the last two years to to classified to two more school resource officers um, to fix in our insurance situation. Um, they have just tackled, I had, a, I had a, uh, a colleague who's a retired administrator or superintendent and he called me the other day and said, it, it's, it's mind blowing what your board and your district has done in a year. He said, most districts don't tackle that in five years. Wow. You know, and uh, so I, I feel really good about the job they've done. And I think that that's the, like the only vindication I feel is that I felt like this board could do great things you know, really could yeah. get us back to where uh, we once were, that Laker, you know, being a Laker is, it's a destination district. Everybody wants to work here and, and we're headed back to that. We got some things still to do to get there, a lot of work ahead of us, but it has been a great first year and a couple of months. Fantastic. So we're talking with Dr. Sean Kirksey, Superintendent Camden and Schools. We'll have more with Dr. Kirksey right after this. At COMC Your Health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center offers three OBGYNs at the Osage Beach Clinic and two pediatricians with same-day appointments available. At COMC, our doors are open to everyone with five primary care locations conveniently located across the Ozarks. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the polar plunge to festivals, parades, aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootouts. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Welcome back to the COMC Community Spotlight show here on Lake TV. We're talking with Dr. Sean Kirksey. He is the superintendent of the Camdenton School Districts. So one of the things uh, that I heard when I moved here, and I've only been here a short time, four or five years, Camdenton School District is great, you know, all this stuff, but boy, a lot of debt there, right? Is that true? Is there a lot of debt in the school district? Is it getting better? Is that getting worse? What's happening with that? Yeah. I think anytime you have, you know, 3,800, you know, almost 3,900 students and you have the, the, the base and the budget we have, it's going to seem like um, anytime you say you're in debt, it seems like a lot of money to me. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. It does. I think when you hear the number, um, I think we, where our debt service is about uh, 85 million and that just makes me you know, almost, almost like what in the world? It sounds um, like a big. Yeah, it number. sounds like a lot. Yeah, um, but our budget is about sixty million dollars a year. Okay. So that would be like if if a home, you know, if you made fifty thousand dollars a year and you owed seventy, you know, you wouldn't think that was terrible. Right. You know, right. you know, you, as an individual, you make fifty thousand, you owe about seventy thousand. That's kind of where ours is right now. It's just um, uh, there were some things that we did that were not great with 
prolonging the interest that we were going to pay because our uh, debt service levy wasn't really retiring mm -hmm. the loans as it should, which doesn't create problems unless you need to to have a building project. You know, you've got a building that's run down and, and you need some infrastructure support. Then you do need that debt service uh, freed up to do right. that. So that's what we're doing. Uh, it's been reduced about 24, 25 million. I think when I got the job, it was it was over a hundred million, wow. which is pretty scary, but yeah. it's been reduced. We paid back a, a bond and we restructured the others to got, got it under control. The biggest thing we did was, um, I think our, uh, you know, you gotta, uh, the return on investment, you know, that's, it's a different mindset with schools. And we just had to think about how we invested our money and we were able to invest, uh, invest, uh, fund balances and the things we have that brought in uh, over $1.2 million in, in uh, revenue from those investments when bef the previous year we'd made 132000 So those are, you've got to do those decisions and the board has done those things and those things don't show up, you know, um, uh, maybe they don't show up in a classroom or they don't show up per se, maybe on an itemized budget, but those decisions are the kind of decisions that take you from a, um, a good district yeah. to a great one. Those are the small things. How do you get from good to great? It's those type of things and real attention to detail on that. Our board has been great about that and, and our, our team has looked for ways to do that. So so you've reduced it over 20 million, it sounds like. Yeah. So yeah. pretty healthy, you would say, the money situation yeah. right yeah. now? Yeah, oh yeah, we're healthy. I mean, we're healthy. There, It's always a strain. You know, you look at the things that we have to pay for now that we didn't have to pay for, you know, maybe... 10, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, and a new bus, I mean, that's the, it blows your mind. A new school bus, those big yellow school buses, and I'm glad they're super safe. That's $140,000. Wow. For a base, just a standard bus is $140,000. Well, we've got, you know, 60, some of them running around, and, and you can't let them get run down. They're hauling kids. You've got yeah. to keep them safe. So you've got to replace those, and those just keep getting more expensive. And then school safety is incredibly important. We added two more of those resource officers with a great partnership with Camden County and also with the city of Camdenton. We were able to add a, um, an officer from each of those two places. Um, and it's, it, that's been huge with this, you know, just feeling like our kids are in, in safe hands, you know, and that's important to our parents, important to our community, important to our staff, important to us. Yeah. And really important to our board. So we're able to get that done, but those things do cost. So um, there, there have been a few, uh, a few of those items that come up that, that uh, so you got to be. We got to continue to look for ways to be really smart with our expenses, and don't expend uh, money. And, you know, and it's all about being uh, good financial stewards. And I think um, conservative financial stewardship is what I talked about during my interview with the board. And that's what through the board we've been able to do. And it's it's made a big difference in a year. Um, we like I said, we got some work to do. It's, yeah, it's still some progress there, and we still have some some expenses that we've got to get reined in. But we've done a great job. Yeah. So you're moving in the right direction. You feel like you're making oh, great headway. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 And the board, you like the board. I mean, it seems like there's been an awakening. Uh, in Camden County and the school district the last few years uh, where um, things aren't getting swept under the rug anymore. Yeah. Um, well, I think, uh, I think there is a, a transparency is important. I mean, there are always things that due to confidentiality and with students and with staff, you can't always tell everything you want to tell. And that's one of the disadvantages a school district face, any employer faces really. Sure. If, if you're involved in anything like that, you've got some rules about what you can and cannot say. Yeah. Um, and so I think that gets frustrating for people on the outside looking in. Um, but one of the biggest things I felt like we had to reestablish some trust, you know, um, and uh, I think that's what we've we've done. And I think the board... Um, the board members have been really good about that. They they are um, they are open and they are involved and they do really care about kids. And I think that's the key thing. Is just you know I told them I I probably brought unfiltered truth. People may not always like that. You know um, I've had times in my career when that wasn't the best thing in the world, um, unfiltered truth. But I think it was necessary here and it was kind of a little bit what uh, what was needed. Absolutely. Dr. Sean Kirksey, Superintendent, Camden and Schools. Yeah, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's all there. And uh, thank you for the hard work that you do and keeping everything moving in the right direction. Yeah. We appreciate it. And thank you so much for joining us for Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. Lake TV.